So you just got your DJI Air 3 and now you need to get an SD card for it or perhaps you've tried to use one that you had lying around but it's not working in the drone. DJI have a list of recommended cards but there's a few things you want to think about when choosing a micro SD card for your Air 3. All of the DJI recommended micro SD cards are V30 U3 cards and there's loads of memory cards to choose from that meet this spec but it's probably wise to choose one from the DJI recommended list but which one? It's great that DJI have given us a list, but when choosing a card from this list, there's one important thing to consider. Drones are a bit different from other kinds of cameras because they fly, they're subject to forces that other cameras might not be, such as vibration, temperature, and unfortunately, if they crash, shock. Some of the cards in the recommended list are more suited in my opinion than others for use in the Air 3. That's because some of the cards in the list are described by the manufacturers as being temperature-proof, shockproof and waterproof. After looking at the specs and the prices for the cards on the DJI recommended list, there's two cards I'd recommend over the others. I'll put links to them in this video's description. If you're happy with a smaller capacity card, then the first card I'd recommend is the SanDisk Extreme Pro 32GB V30 U3 A1 microSD card. SanDisk state that this card is shockproof, waterproof, temperature proof and x-ray proof. But if 32GB is not big enough for you, the second card I'd recommend is the Samsung Samsung Evo Plus 512GB V30 U3 A2 microSD card. Samsung state that this card is waterproof, temperature proof, x-ray proof, magnet proof, drop proof and wear out proof and it also has a 10 year limited warranty subject to terms and conditions. It's also got a faster readout time than the SanDisk of up to 130 megabytes a second which could help speed up your editing workflow when you're copying large files from your SD card to your computer. I've used SanDisk cards for over a decade now and I've never had one fail yet and I've also recently started using Samsung cards too. Links are in the description to the two cards I've recommended and also to the DJI recommended list. And there's five common editing mistakes that are made when you're editing drone videos. Check out this video next to not only learn what they are but also how to fix them. I'm Jason Roberts, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye!